What is going on guys, it's Pinochet over here and this is just a quick video showing you guys the two new maps which uh, just drops for Call of Duty Elite Premium members for the Xbox 360. The first one is this one right here, it's called Sanctuary and it's based from what I've read somewhere in Greece and as you can see it's a very religious map as you can see right there. This is a church and later on you're going to see some other kind of religious stuff which is pretty cool, you know. One thing that I've noticed about this map is you know, each area is quite different from the rest of the map. Like, right here there's a statue, which is great. You know, I noticed this when I was playing the private match, that this map would be great for callouts. If you're playing Search and Destroy or Game Battles or something like that, if you're playing with your clan or team, you know, calling out to your teammates where enemies are is going to be very easy because, you know, the whole map is pretty distinguishable. Like, right here, there's a bell. You know, if there's someone in this area, you can just yell out, there's a guy in bell or, you know, something like that. So... I think this map is going to be very fun to play in the team and I do think uh, if I was playing this map personally I'd probably run the PP90M1 with um, like rapid fire silencer or something like that because although it is very tight corners it does remind me of Piazza a little bit because it's super sunny and you know there's a lot of corners uh, there are some long sight lines like earlier if you didn't see there were like a few long bridges which you know if someone had a Type 95 on one side of that bridge and you try to run through, you would definitely get smoked. But as you can see, look right here, long corridor. And, um, you know, although there are these long sight lines, most of the map is pretty tight. So just keep that in mind. Now, as you heard me say, callouts for this map is going to be really good. I mean, if you compare this to something like Hard Hat, this map is so much easier to make callouts for. Simply because, you know, each area, there's something significant about it. And, um, you know, I'm looking at that corner, this one right here. <laughs> I can tell someone's gonna be camping there, but anyway, um, yeah. If you compare it to some like Hard Hat, which the whole map is almost similar to the rest of the map, it's kind of hard to say where teammates are, you know. Um, but this one right here, you know, you got church, you got bell, you got statue, you got bridge. There's a lot of different places you could call out. So let's move on to the next map real quick, and the next map is called Foundation, and it's kind of like a factory kind of thing. It reminds me of. Silo from Black Ops, if you remember, it was one of those DLC maps also, and it kind of reminds me of that. This map is super open compared to the other one, but still, it's not too open to where it's like, you know, Liberation. Liberation is just ridiculously open, it's like Wasteland 2.0 from Modern Warfare 2. But, yeah, as you can see, although there are a lot of open areas, which I think the, uh, the sniper rifles and the assault rifles will definitely dominate, there's a lot of like upper areas like the catwalk right there that I just showed you and there's a few buildings also which I'll be showing you in a second. I'll go to this middle area and there's not much going on in this middle area apart from this, what is this, cement? I guess it's cement. Another thing which I've noticed about this map since it's almost all the same color, you know, you got a lot of browns and a lot of greens. I think it's going to be super hard to see players in the distance, like, you know those guys in the ghillie suit that hide at the back of the map with their sniper rifles trying to pick people off? I think it's going to be very hard to see those people unless you have like a super 60 inch uh, kind of a TV. But yeah, apart from that, just be sure to keep your eye out because this map is very dull and... You know, I already find it hard enough to see players on regular maps, but on this map, especially since it's all almost like the same kind of color, it's going to be pretty hard to see players. Which is another reason why I don't advise you using your Extreme Conditioning SMG class to run around on this map because, you know, you, you're going to miss players that are hiding in the background. So, I advise you use, you know, your Assault Rifles, your Scar Ls, your ACRs, your Type 95s, your MK14s, or if you're a good sniper, definitely use your Barretts, your MSRs, whatever you like to use. Yep, so that's almost the end of the video, guys. So let me know what you guys think of what you've seen so far from these two new maps. If you already have them and you've played them yourself, let me know what you think of, you know, your experience playing these new maps. I'm really hoping and praying that Infinity Ward brings out like a retro pack with all the old Modern Warfare 2 maps because they kind of did that for Modern Warfare 2, they brought out the COD 4 maps um, but you know it would be pretty cool at the end of Modern Warfare 3's life cycle if they brought out like one map pack dedicated to Modern Warfare 2 maps like I want to play Terminal, I want to play you know Favela, I want to play all those old maps again on this um, new Modern Warfare 3 system, I think that would be pretty cool and I think all the new kids that just got COD for the first time would enjoy it as well. So anyway, this is Pino Shinobi signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm about to play these new maps. Peace.